Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to integrate Citrix storefront and then PVS server into Citrix monitoring that means Citrix directed. So you can monitor the Citrix server and then PVS server status. So that is called infrastructure monitoring for now it's under preview. So you can get this option in the 2407 release. Okay. So now let me show you the director. So this is 2407 Citrix director version. So now you can see the option like infrastructure. Here you can integrate your Citrix PBS and then storefront server so that those servers will be monitored under Citrix director. So you need to execute this some command in the delivery controller. From delivery controller, the director will show the information in the director console. So for that, we need to install the Citrix monitor tool and then we need to register in the controller. If we go to this URL, like uh, this article, you can see the clear uh, steps how to implement in your infrastructure. You can go through this document and then you can do the implementation. So for now, I will show you. So this is the command you need to uh, execute. So this is password and the username. This is test environment. So I am showing the password. Okay. So uh, this is the command you need to execute. For example, if you want to add storefront, you need to mention component SF. If it is a PVS, then you need to mention PVS. So this is a PVS server address FQDN. This is storefront server FQDN and then domain name, username and password. Now after installing that uh, Citrix monitor tool on the server like a PVS server and then storefront server so it will generate the token so you need to uh, paste the token here and then you need to run this command in the PowerShell in uh, delivery controller so that it will be added in the Citrix director okay now go to Citrix storefront server so I have that uh, MSI file in my desktop so I am going to run it now. So this is the uh, uh, MSI file you need to install it in storefront and then uh, PVS server. Okay you need to go to this path to get the token. So just copy this token. So this is PV, uh, storefront server. Just use that command. So the first command is storefront. So just add the token here. Just copy the entire uh, steps. Just open the PowerShell. Just click enter. Okay. Now now try to refresh the. Uh, director console so now storefront is added so it will take some time to reflect here but you got the option like storefront so it will take some time to sync up with the storefront server from delivery controller now just do the same in our PBS servers So now you can see that uh, there is no option for uh, PVS. So only right now you can see storefront. Go to PVS server. Just install it. Just go to the same path to copy the token. Sorry, go back. Let's copy this token. So paste it here. Now refresh the console once again. So now you got one more option PVS. So it will take some time to uh, sync the data with the controller. We'll see. 
after few minutes. So now you can see the complete details about PVS and then uh, store frontier. So if you have n number of PVS site, so you can uh, do the drop down and then uh, check the specific um, Citrix, sorry, Citrix PVS. The similar way for storefront, if you have multiple storefront, you can do the drop down and then select the respective storefront server and then you can see the behavior. Okay. Now I will show you how to remove this component from the uh, Citrix infrastructure monitoring. So just execute the another command like uh, remove monitor direct agent and then the server name and then component. So now let me execute to remove storefront first. Just uh, refresh it. So you don't have uh, storefront tab in under uh, infrastructure monitoring. So now we are going to remove PVS as well. Just refresh the console once again. So now nothing has added in the infrastructure monitoring. So this is a, a way to add your um, uh, Citrix storefront and then PVS site into uh, Citrix monitoring and under uh, Citrix director. Thank you.